Okay, synthetic division. Basically, it's division. So you can only use synthetic if the coefficient on this last term is 1 and it's just an x, either minus a number or plus a number. And so it is, so it's going to meet that criteria. So what I want to do is this. I want to set up my little synthetic division numbers right here, all right, like this here. And I'm going to put my inside layer right here. So if it's minus 4, it's got to be a plus 4. And then I'm going to write the coefficients. 5, the next coefficient is negative 13, negative 34, and 24. You want to be careful. Uh, if this had been a 4 and that had been a 2, there would have been a 0 in there. So that sometimes happens on some of these. You have to get all the coefficients. And then we do a little what I call Johnny Cash. You're going to bring down this first number. Bring it down, down, down. Just bring it down. And then you take the 4 times the 5, which makes 20, and I put it right here. Now I'm going to add these. Negative 13 plus 20 is 7. And just like I multiplied by 4 here, I'm going to do the same here. So 4 times 7 is 28, which I'm now going to add this negative 34 and 28, which makes negative 6. I'm going to take 4 times negative 6, which is negative 24, which makes 0. So then I know, then basically, I started with x cubed, so what's one less than x cubed is x squared. So my answer is 5x squared plus 7x minus 6. So that would be letter D. Another way that you could do this to get the answer that's not synthetic division, but if it's multiple choice and all we care about is an answer is, turn your calculator on, go to your y equals, and let's clear that one out, and let's type in our what? Five, whoops, let's make sure we get our five here. Five x to the third power, arrow down, arrow out, the exponent, minus 13 x, I'm gonna hit the squared there, minus 34 x, plus 24, and just hit graph. And the only thing I can really tell is I know it goes through the point 4 right there. Um, actually, I don't think you can. And the other thing I can do is this here. I'm going to go to my answer here. I'm going to leave on the same graph on the y equals. I'm going to go to the second one, and I'm going to put 5x squared plus 7x minus 6 and hit graph. And I want you to notice something. This graph goes through these two points. Because remember, your solution has to be the same. They have to cross the x-intercept at the same place. The 4 crossed right there. That was this one. That is the other two right here. So you can see if they cross the x-intercept at exactly the same places, other than the one here, it's also part of your answer. It's not a method that we teach because you haven't really learned it. They need you in the calculator to get an answer, all right? So I'll tell you what, let's, uh, down. let's go to our next problem because our next problem is also a synthetic division problem. So I want to set up a problem do the uh, find all the zeros. Now here I kind of have to guess and check at some numbers. And I'm looking over here and I see the numbers 2 and I see the numbers 5. Uh, I'm going to kind of just guess and start with 5. Um, and put a 5 there. I just had to guess at that. And I'll show you a way that you'd use that in a second. And I'm going to put my coefficients. The 4, negative 16, negative 19, negative 5. And be like John, bring the Johnny Cash. Bring the 4, bring it down, down, down. Burn in a ring of fire. Burn, burn, burn. And then 5 times 4 is 20. So I'm going to add negative 16 and 20. Makes 4. I'm going to take 5 times 4 and get 20 again. Add negative 19 and 20 and I get 1. 5 times 1 is 5 and I get 0. So I know that is a factor. So I know this. The only one with a factor of 5 is C. So I know that's the answer. But I'm really not done because I still need to what? Factor this one here. And I can take that would be an MF DARM. I take 4 times 1. And factor 4, which are 4 and 1, 2 and 2. And 2 and 2 add to make the 4. So I know that it would be an x with a 2, x with a 2. The larger number, which in this case are both the same, has to always match the middle sign says plus. And because the last one's plus, they're both plus, which would mean this here. But I, because I 
And since multiplied by 4 here, I've got to now divide by 4. And they both were reduced to 1 half. But will 2 go into 1 evenly? No. So now I get to do a little Madagascar and go move it, move it, move it, move it. I'm going to simply move the 2's in front. So I know it factors to 2x plus 1, which when you set those equal to 0 to solve, you get the negative 1 half, which you can see is actual answers for that. The other way that you could uh, do this one would be to simply go to your calculator. All right. And like I said, this is not using synthetic division, but you go to your calculator, go to your y equals. Let's clear that out of there. Let's clear this other one out too. And go back up here to my y1. I'm going to type in my 4x. Make sure I hit the exponent. 3, and I got an arrow out of the exponent. Minus 16x. I'm going to hit the square. That makes it nice and easy. Minus 19x. Minus 5. And then I'm going to hit graph. And if you'll notice on this graph, I can see I have two answers. It hits somewhere between 0 and negative 1. And it also hits out here at 5. And notice what were the answers, negative 1 half and positive 5. That's probably the easiest way to find the answers. It's a whole lot less work. But that's not using the math. You're just, once again, copying something to get an answer for those with the graphic calculator.